China will beat SpaceX? China is really doubling down on its efforts for the space race going on. With competitors like the US and Russia, it can't afford to sit around. And what better way to start off the race than with cloning one of your competitors' inventions? China did it with Silicon Valley. What's wrong with space inventions? Nothing. It sure can copy West with that too. And if you're copying something, then copy it from the best. And that's none other than Elon Musk's SpaceX. In today's video, as you guessed, we'll be discussing how China is copying from SpaceX and can beat it in its own game. So let's begin. SpaceX first showed off their Starship concept back in 2017. And now it's come to the point where they're almost capable of going to space and back. Now what better way there is other than beating SpaceX at its own game? China has a good chance of becoming the dominant space power in the 21st century, and it's not just looking to copy NASA on the way to the top. Instead, the country is paying close attention to what innovative US companies like SpaceX are doing as well. To get ahead in space, communism is learning from capitalism. China, SpaceX, Blue Origin are one of the leading members of the space race. So, to give it a context, SpaceX is now developing a liquid fuel rocket called Starship. This will be the world's tallest and most powerful rocket and will eventually put people and cargo on Mars. Unlike SpaceX, China has set massive targets to meet in space transport and it plans to meet them using the idea of solid fuel rockets. And China recently successfully tested the world's largest solid fuel rocket engine. China hopes to realize this new project by 2045. The concept is as cool as it was first unveiled in 2017 a suborbital transportation system that could take you anywhere around the globe. China also hopes to finish the cargo delivery part around 2035. A booth operated by China's main state-owned rocket manufacturer, the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, also spotlighted the potential for suborbital point-to-point -point transportation. Now, let's take a look at China's progress. Recently, part of China's largest rocket, the Long March 5B, was tumbling out of control in orbit after launching a section of the country's new space station last week. The rocket fell to Earth in what is called an uncontrolled re-entry sometimes near Maldives. It splashed harmlessly in the ocean. It raises a question. Why China's space program let this happen again remains unclear. And given China's planned schedule of launches, more such uncontrolled rocket re-entries in the years to come are possible. The country's space program has executed a series of major achievements in spaceflight in the past six months, including returning rocks from the moon and putting a spacecraft in orbit around Mars. Yet it continues to create danger, however small, for people all over the planet by failing to control the parts of rocket it launches. On the other hand, in March, a rocket staged from a SpaceX Falcon 9 lit up the night skies over Seattle and later dropped debris over a farm in Washington state when a planned firing of the engine of the second stage to bring it down safely did not occur as planned. China, by contrast, has a long history of letting pieces of its space equipment come down where they may. Rockets from one of China's principal launch sites, the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in Sichuan province, routinely fell on rural areas downrange, occasionally causing damage. China has since moved many of its launches, including last week's, to a new site in Wenchang, a city on Hainan, an island off the southeastern coast. From there, rocket stages can fall harmlessly into the sea. Now these accidents happen because China is trying. It's trying hard to catch up with the West. It successfully tested the world's largest solid fuel rocket engine. So the question arises, could China's space program overtake NASA and SpaceX? So China's self-developed solid fueled rocket engine features the world's largest thrust and has had a successful test run marking a substantial improvement to the payload. Country's solid propellant rocket has the booster engine with a diameter of 3.5 meters and a maximum thrust of 500 tons, powered by 150 tons of solid fuel, is the most powerful solid rocket engine out there. It has multiple cutting-edge technologies, for example, a high-performance fiber composite shell, an integral casting combustion chamber of high load and an oversized nozzle, making it a world-leading rocket engine. Different from a liquid-fueled engine, 
A solid rocket engine is powered by high-energy gunpowder with the advantages of simple structure, flexible mobility, and large instantaneous thrust. And on the upper side, its developers have begun the study of the five-stage booster engine, the diameter of which can reach 3.5 meters and the thrust of a thousand tons. Dr. Yen said, we are at the international advanced level in the field of large solid rocket engines. Next, we will develop a 1,000-ton solid rocket engine to provide stronger thrust for China's carrier rockets in the future. The test's success meant that we have achieved substantial progress in improving the capability of our solid propellant carrier rockets, said Wang Jianru, the engine's chief designer, as quoted by state media outlet China Daily. The future booster engine is expected to be used in large and heavy rockets to meet various demands for large vehicles during space missions, like manned moon landings and deep space exploration. China has made big progress on solid propellant rockets in recent years, including the successful development and launch of the Long March 11, which can launch from land or sea. What makes the Chinese effort to emulate SpaceX notable is the country's expansive ambitions in space and its vast resources to back up these long-term goals. The Chinese government has established or has plans for programs or missions in every major area, whether it's Mars missions, building mega constellations of telecommunication satellites, or exploring asteroids. There is no single area of space activity they are not involved in. Earlier this year, the Chinese government signed an agreement with Russia to work together to build a moon base. China has also begun planning to launch crewed missions to Mars and deploy a massive space-based commercial-scale solar power plant by 2050. They're playing the long game and they're playing to win. Based on China's recent accomplishments in space, it would be wise to take these grand ambitions seriously, especially since a Chinese rover has already begun exploring on Mars. The private capital fueling the space race in the US still hasn't produced a competitor to pressure SpaceX, whose primary rival may be China's space program, not other businesses in the US and Europe, or Russia's space program. If we look at the numbers, Elon Musk's space company has flown 26 missions into space, only topped by the 34 sent into orbit by China's space agencies. But SpaceX also has been hired to develop a moon lander. However, as you know, this program is delayed by Blue Origin's lawsuit, and also SpaceX is still waiting for the FAA's license for its first orbital flight. But hopefully, as Elon Musk said, SpaceX could launch the Starship orbital flight test by November. And just like you and me, most observers think the US will remain the world's preeminent space power thanks to its innovative and flourishing private sector. Whereas China's Soviet-style state program appears less nimble despite ambitious timetables and billions spent by Beijing. It is unclear when or even if an astronaut will return to the moon. SpaceX seems to be leading for now, but we can't expect China to be far behind, just because we want to believe so. And we think copying the project and making it better is not a bad thing. What do you guys think? Will Elon Musk beat China despite its vast resources, or will the dragon triumph here? Let us know in the comments. And leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.